Welcome back to another Zwift video. Uh, this is basically clips of me from last week where I decided to go up out to Zwift for the first time. Uh, I'm using the Concept2 bike erg um, as my mode of transport for going up this slightly steep hill. Um, it works kind of similar to a standard bike. Um, it has a flywheel that works similar to the gear system. Um, basically when you allow more air in it's tougher to cycle but you travel a bit further. Um, I, I don't really know what the technical terms of for that are. I'm not an expert cyclist at all. Um, I've only recently got into, into Zwift and doing this cycling lark, which I absolutely love. Um, but yeah, I the only thing it means is I can't change gear essentially while cycling because uh, it involves kind of stopping and sort of moving forward in front of me to, to move the flywheel uh, to, to adjust it. But yeah, um, I haven't looked too much into this. Uh, I didn't want to spoil it, um, you know, and look up too many tacti tactics at all. I just wanted to get round or get up um, and then back down again. Uh, so yeah, I didn't. I don't know too much about what I was doing. I was just thought, let's just go and experience this for the first time. Um, since I've seen that an hour, a lot of people aim for under an hour as as a good time. Um, this is nowhere near under an hour. Uh, I won't spoil it. Um, you will have to check out, watch the whole video or skip to the end to, to get my time. Uh, it wasn't under the hour, so if you want a video on how to get under an hour, uh, this is not the video for you. I definitely wasn't under an hour. And I'm not sure I'd be able to, to be honest, um, unless I did a lot of training. Uh, I'm averaging around 150 watts, and it does drop quite considerably as we get near the end. Uh, we get close to 140 watts. Um, I weigh, I can't remember how much I weighed for this, probably around 67, 66, 67, 68 kilos, somewhere around that ballpark, because um, I can't remember what I actually had my um, my Zwift set up in, um, but I was probably lighter than what my Zwift uh, character actually said, uh, which would have disadvantaged me a little bit. The other thing I didn't realise is there was a bit, there was probably like a 15 minute lead in uh, to this. Um, I wasn't expecting that, you know, I was pretty much knackered before I'd even started going up the hill. Um, so, I, I, yeah, that wasn't something I realised you, you actually had to do. Um, but yeah, my, probably my average wattage, I didn't actually work out, um, but it was probably around, I would estimate around 145 watts, uh, which was probably about 2, 2.1 watts per kilo. Um, which is not too bad. I've seen that you have to average 3.2 watts per kilo to go under the hour. Um, so that's a tip if you're still here <laughs> wanting to know how to get under an hour. Um, the one thing I'm thinking of doing for some other videos is to test it out at different watts. Uh, sorry, at different watts per kilo. See how long it gets up. So attempting it, you know, half 0.5 watts per kilo, trying out at 1 watts per kilo. I'd like to say try it out at 3 watts per kilo, but I'm not sure I can manage that for the whole uh, the whole distance. Um, I feel like I've got the sort of like the, the cardio part is quite tied down. Um, I've been doing a lot of running recently, so I'd say my cardio is there. It's just my leg strength is not there, and my you know my muscular endurance in my legs, uh, just to be able to maintain that sort of uh, leg speed and power, um, because that's again I'm no expert as I said earlier in cycling I'm not sure if my uh, RPM is good or bad it sits around 60 uh, that's how I was trying to keep it um, I can't remember what level I actually had it on on the Concept2 it was probably about 7 or 8 um, pretty up much higher than that and I'm just not getting any sort of you know speed up at all um, in my legs and it just end up cramping um, yeah Overall, in terms of how the Concept 2 did, I would say it did better than I thought. Um, I thought it was going to be a bit tougher, uh, but again, as I said, I'm I'm no expert in how you're meant to tackle this. I will probably look up some videos um, for if I was going to do it again, because uh, I want to beat my the time that I had done. Because um, I'm not sure whether you are meant to adjust gears as you're going up. You. I don't know whether that's something you're meant to do or whether it is fine to just stick at a high gear, low gear. The other thing I didn't really check out is whether I had the right bike for this um, in terms of in-game in bike. Um, I meant to check, I really did mean to check before, um, 
to see if I had the, the optimal bike for this. Uh, so that'd be something quickly and easy to change um, to help beat my time if I were to do it again. So we've just got up to corner eight, uh, 449 I believe for that one. Uh, not too bad. I definitely preferred this, the shorter ones, um, the, like the shorter corners and the shorter turns. Um, there was one that took me, what was my longest one? 8 minutes 21. I hated that corner. I think it was number 6. It just seemed to go on and on and on and on. And, and the other thing I didn't realise is when you get to the last one, to, on the screen I think it says uh, 0.54. I didn't realise after that then there's then another one you, you haven't actually finished. All I was trying to get to was finish 0.54 and I'd be done. And I could just you know cycle a little bit more and then go straight back down the hill. I didn't realise that was not the last point and you still had, I think it was like 700 metres to go. Um, and yeah, I hated the, that 700 metres as well. It was absolutely dreadful. So yeah, there's a lot to, um, to take in, a lot to... So hope, hopefully improve on. I'm generally cycling every other day. I um, tend to do an hour. I tend to do like a zone two, so I'm not I'm not full pelt cycling. I'm probably sat at about one and a half watts per kilo, usually as a maximum. Generally between 1.2 and 1.5 watts per kilo for an hour. Um, I sort of do that once a day. I'm sorry, not once a day. Every other day, and then I also do every other day. I do uh, an hour's worth of rowing. Um, and sort of another app that I use is uh, XR, which is basically the rowing version of Swift. Um, they just haven't got quite as many users on there, um, and they're meant to be adding a racing feature, which is meant to be similar to Swift. Uh, but this, for some reason, is taking quite a while. Um, but yeah, I will hopefully be making videos on that when that comes out. As we go past corner number two, three minutes forty. Uh, average heart rate 154 average wattage has dropped to 140 for that one which is not good at all um, it was kind of annoying my some some of the time I, was, I was thought oh, you know I'm getting quicker and I was looking at the wrong I was <laughs> looking at the wrong side because my watts per kilo and my um, and my um, what is it heart rate were kind of roughly similar so uh, sometimes I did catch myself looking at the wrong thing uh, as we are coming to the end now and unfortunately we did um, not quite get under 90 minutes really frustrating um, but yeah next time we'll get definitely under 90 minutes uh, we got some gloves I don't know whether these are good things or not uh, but yeah I cycled a little bit longer and then sent him off back down the hill um, got him up to a decent speed and then let him roll and I got off the bike went and cried because it didn't get under 90 minutes but yeah that is going to be the video if you've enjoyed this video leave a like uh leave a comment on what you'd like to see me do next um more swift videos are coming but yeah thank you for watching and i will speak to you in the next video